daily Shakespeare English version. When I think of daily Shakespeare, I think of Shakespeare in my daily quarantine life. My daily quarantine life, which now includes more cooking and cleaning and homeschooling, which I love. How about a bit of a prologue uh, from Henry V while I do my daily cleaning? Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention. A kingdom for a stage princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling scene. Then should the warlike Harry, like himself, assume, fuck, it was going so well and then I lost it. Wait, and then should the warlike Harry, like himself, assume the port of Mars? Yes, I think that's it and leashed in and at his heels, fuck. And then, should the warlike Harry, like himself, assume the port of Mars and at his heels, leashed in like hounds, should, should famine and, and sword and, and, and fire crouch for employment? But pardon, gentles, all the flat, unraised spirits that hath dared on this unworthy scaffold bring forth so great an object. Can this cockpit hold the vasty fields of France? Or may we cram into this, this metal O, oh, the very, the very casks that did affright the air at Agincourt. Yeah. Suppose within the girdle of these two walls are now confined two mighty monarchies whose high abreared and abutting fronts the perilous narrow ocean parts asunder. The perilous narrow ocean parts asunder. Peace out our imperfections with your thoughts. Into a thousand parts divide one man and make imaginary puissance. Think. When we talk of horses, that you see them printing their proud hooves in the receiving earth. For tis your thoughts that now must deck our kings, carry them here and there, jumping over time, turning the accomplishment of many years into an hourglass. For the which supply me chorus to this fucking history, who prologue like your humble patience, pray. Gently to hear, kindly to judge, are a play. Uh.